Because today we're going to review another action figure. And as an action figure reviewer, I like to go for now for budget. Since I don't have a job. Uh, and I'm actually going to look for a job because... The business in fuel station is not running well in my fuel station so basically I think the gas prices the fuel prices and everything are getting uh, high and I don't think we can keep good prices these days because we can keep them low as well so or else we wouldn't be able to pay them back so there are several stuff man I mean when it comes to businesses so so I'm gonna leave that business behind and I start up with a job and start up with a new business maybe I'm gonna learn some experience from different kind of jobs to get what business should I get or maybe I should do something better and learn something to do better so let's not talk about it um, and that's my reason why am I why am I, I am on budget so um, it's good to buy something on budget if you are actually are on budget and so don't buy stuff that you if you are gonna finish your budget or something so starting up we got the you know I got my size comparison figures we got the bad guys right here for size comparison Eggman and Red Skull and the one good guy I have gonna go for the superhero that is Booster Gold so we're gonna see that and you can see Red Skull is bigger than these guys which is pretty cool I don't know if he's around 5 inches or 6 I, I think he's more likely on 5 inches um, um, like three or four, and as you can see at the top, there is the cube with the frost in it, and it says Ice Mission, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this is the Tesseract going on frost, because if you remember in some comics, the Tesseract was found in the frosty areas. You got Red Skull, which is kind of a ripped box right there. Um, and then we got the Flex, Bend and Flex on the top, Bend and Flex Missions. And you got um, Yellow and uh, Red. I like these Hasbro going snazzy, which is pretty cool. 4 Plus, uh, FT113 in plastic free packaging except tape and glue the one thing I, I i like about the plastic free packaging you can actually grab the figure and take a look by yourself like are these figures are actually good or not i mean i used to like those plastic at the top but the translucent plastic used to give an illusion that the figure was actually good or bad that's one of the good plus point but then some people would say that these figures will get stolen if they're plastic free packaging or swapped but yeah of course and then some figures don't get swapped because they got extra protection man you know what I mean and whatever the case is I still like the each kind of unique packaging they bring in by Hasbro and we got these sort of I don't like the box packaging they do Sometimes I think that people intentionally get ripped off by having those box packaging with no, you know, no open cover or plastic on the top, which gives an illusion that we don't, we can't see anything and that kind of sucks. So we got Marvel Avengers, which is pretty cool, kind of looks like the Endgame logo. With the purple on the side and the Avengers and the blue and the yellow. And we got the figure doing poses. So you can see they're doing kick, fighting, punching, kicking, and you know, the Iron Man pose, running, and all that. Pretty cool. Iron Man pose or the superhero landing. You got jumping, 
um, kind of doing knickknacking, one hand Spider-Man like pose, and he got swinging and so many stuff. I like this packaging design. Got white color and yellow and white. It's really cool. I've never had these figures, man. But seeming likely getting them first time is awesome. It's pretty cool. Since I don't have a Red Skull figure, this is gonna be nice addition to my collection, like Mr. Grievous said. Anyways, Ben and Flex Missions, red color, we got Red Skull. I like this outfit, cause this outfit gives an ultimate look of what Red Skull would look after he had fight between the snow mission um, where he was on the New York I guess I remember um, in the comic books and same in the movie and then he would like recreate himself uh, bring him back himself and then wear an Iron Man suit which is also very cool now some comics say that he actually lost or damaged his body which led him to have this kind of suit not too sure and in some parts he wasn't damaged but he didn't die just like Captain America but he somehow escaped and after years and he he was he's running the Hydra so that's also pretty cool another thing I'm just gonna talk about this character Red Skull is um, I don't know about the Hydra stuff, but, but you know what, I, I do have a lot of Captain America movie figures, and, movie figures, and I also bought a Falcon Cap Kip figure, that can also work, and I also have a Winter Soldier figure, which is also very cool, but the only thing I would say, you know, in the end game, and the Infinity War, he was sort of a, you know, a guy who leads to Thanos' death pit, which I don't know why he was there, but yeah, he was there in the movie, which is pretty cool. And, you know, he he's sort of like the Karen type of guy who directs you to the death, uh, Thanos' death pit, you know, in Greek mythology. And you got all this blue, crystal blue, like he's blasting and he's got his Iron Man suit. Uh, maybe this is powered by his uh, Tesseract. And then we got the Hydra logo, the blue. You can see blue and black suit, which is awesome for this character. Because there was a version where he was wearing black. But it was a bit mix of red and I don't remember. But it looked a lot like what, he, what Iron Man wore in the Age of Ultron. Where he had that kind of like Mark 42-ish look. I did not, that did not sell me well. So yeah, I did not buy that. And there are more of these kind of flashing lights and all that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Red Skull is a pretty rare figure. If you ever see him in Marvel Legends, you know this guy's going to go crazy bucks, man. You got $4.99. I bought it from Marshalls, which is pretty cool. Marshalls is an amazing store sometimes. Plastic free packaging, Ben and Flix missions. And this was probably a 2022 figure, right? It was a 2022 release. Ice mission, and you got Ben and Flex. So he's holding the Tesseract on his hand, and Captain America and Black Panther is stopping him so that he won't cause any more destruction. And he's on the blasting. Iron Man is going on a Hydra on top of a Hydra type thing. That's also very cool. And not Iron Man, that's Captain America. And I don't know if that's a Snow Hydra. Whatever. And you can see more of this, this talks and all this. I like the snow on the detail on the back, the white. This is a very cool backdrop. I wish they could have done that on the back. It could have been cooler. I got more detail. Warning, small parts may not be generated. And different languages, Marvel. And made in Vietnam, which is very cool. I didn't know this character was made in Vietnam. Most Marvel figures are made in China. 
US and Canada, Box Boy T, Marvel Hasbro. I think I'm gonna keep this packaging if it was not pretty ripped. But maybe I will. You'll see on the future.